Hi, welcome to our video where we're going to convert units. And this is an important skill to have, to know how to convert between units. Not just how to plug it into a calculator that does it for you, but to think about this process because we're always going to be converting between units and that'll give you some sense of scale when you're solving problems. So let's, let's look at this first one. It says, how many cups are in five quarts? So one quart equals what? Two pints. So I'm going to write that as a ratio. For every one quart, I have two pints. And then what? For every pint, it says one pint, right? That is the same as two cups. So for every one pint, we have two cups. So here we have five quarts. So that means, what if we rewrote everything in terms of five quarts? So here, one quart is two pints. So five quarts will be five times more pints. So 10 pints, All right? So for every one quart, there are two pints. So if we have five quarts, we should have 10 pints. And there, well, for ten, one pint, we have two cups. But now we have 10 pints, I'm going to write 10p. What's that going to be in terms of cups? Well, five to, 10 times, we have 10 times more pints, right? First we had one pint, now we have 10 of them. So instead of two cups, we're now going to have 20 cups. So that's our answer, 20 cups. All we did was start with pints, cut up, start with quarts, goes to pints, and then scale up to five quarts, which is 10 pints, and then keep going from there. Well, if one pint is two cups, and we have now we have 10 pints, which is five quarts, well then 10 pints is 20 cups. And this problem down here, we have left out the multiple choice answers so we can solve it this way. Um, George has one gallon container of apple juice. How many cups of apple juice are in the one gallon container? So one gallon is four quarts. Okay. One quart is two pints and one pint is two cups. Well, well, let's figure it out, right? How many cups are in, are in one gallon? Well, two cups gives us a pint, right? And two pints gives us a quart. So how many cut cups give us a quart? Well, for every one pint, there are two cups. So if one quart is two pints, well, then two pints equals how many cups? Well, one pint is two cups, so two pint, that's four cups. So for every two pints, right, we have four cups. And that's important because one quart equals two pints, right? And, and we know how many quarts go in a gallon. Well, four quarts go in a gallon. Okay, so if two pints equals one quart, right? And four cups are in every two pints. So that you could say four cups are in one quart. So then if four quarts are in a gallon, right? four times more than one quart, four times more cups will be in a gallon. So 16 cups will be in a gallon. And that's the basic idea of all these problems. Let's look at some more. Shirley's waiting pool holds 368 quarts of water. All right, how many gallons of water does it hold? Well, if one gallon equals four quarts, that means it takes four times as many quarts to equal a single gallon. So if we have this many quarts, the amount of gallons we have to have has to be, has to be less than this, right? Which is interesting because look at our choices. Only A is less than 368, right? I mean, 364, I mean, and 372, and 1472. Well, 1472 is if you multiply this by 4, but, right, that doesn't make sense because if this is 368 quarts and a gallon equals 4 quarts, some smaller number of gallons would equal this many quarts. And 92 times 4 is, is what? That, that's 368, so A is the answer. Let's see if this problem has a similar idea. Kathy buys six cups of ice cream. How many pints of ice cream does Kathy buy? Well, if every one pint equals two cups, well, now we have six cups, right? So we have to have less pints because a pint is a larger amount. So it takes less pints to equal the same amount of cups, right? If you have a pint holding this much and then, then, and then two cups, right, that equal the same amount of liquid as a pint. Well, if we have six cups, two, three, right, 
we've taken two cups and made three groups of them. And every one of these groups is one pint. So if I have two other groups, I have three pints. Right? And look, you see right here, two to six. Two times three is six. So one times three is three. It's three pints. That's how many cups we have here. Okay, how many pints are equivalent to ten gallons? Well, one gallon is four quarts, and one quart is two pints. So what do we do? We don't want to know how many pints are in ten of these gallons. Well, every one quart, right, has two pints. So if we have four quarts, right, then we have to have eight pints. And that's how many are in a gallon, because one gallon has four quarts. So now we have a connection. One gallon has eight pints. So 10 gallons, what will that have? Well, that will have 10 times as many pints. It will have 80 pints. And our answer is D. Here it says Maxine is taking five gallons of drinking water on a camping trip. How many quarts of drinking water is Maxine taking on the camping trip? Well, every one gallon is four quarts. So if you had five gallons, like, so here's one gallon, one big gallon. And that equals one, two, three, four quarts. So doesn't it make sense that if I have five gallons, five times as many of these buckets, three, four, five, that I also have, well, each, each gallon is four of these quarts. So now we have five gallons, so we have five groups of four quarts, or we have 20, 20 quarts. And that's how much quartz Maxine is taking on her camping trip. Lynn is making a volcano for a science fair. He uses eight cups of vinegar. How many pints of vinegar does Lynn use? So eight cups. Well, look at this. We have one pint to two cups, right? And now we have eight cups. We want to know, well, how many pints is that going to be? Well, if we had two cups and multiply by four, we have eight cups, right? Four groups of two cups. And every group of two cups, so cup, cup, right? That's one pint. So every group of two cups corresponds to one pint. That's what we're saying right here. So if we have eight groups of cups, I mean, eight cups, which is four groups, right? Here's another one, another one, and another one. And each one corresponds to a pint. We'll have four pints. And that's our answer in this problem. Four pints for eight cups. And here, a similar type of question. Marion fills a bucket with water. The capacity of the bucket is two quarts. What is this in gallons? Well, this, is a, this is a nice one because if one big gallon equals four quarts, one, two, three, and four, and here's a big gallon. Well, if I fill this gallon jug up, I also fill up the quarts. Right, all four of them. So if I cut this in half, I also take away half of the quarts I have. Right? So two quarts is equal to a half gallon. Right? Two quarts is a half gallon because four quarts is a full gallon. So if I have two quarts, I have a one half gallon. And the answer is B. Okay, a few left. There are four pints of milk in Jamie's in James's refrigerator. How many cups of milk are in the refrigerator? Well, if we have for every one pint, right, we have a pint here, that gives us two cups. So if I have four of these pints and every pint has two cups, well, then I have eight cups because each pint holds two cups. Similar here with, with Sasha pouring 10 gallons of water into her aquarium. How many quarts does Sasha pour into the aquarium? Same idea on a bigger scale. We have a one gallon, right, jug of water, which gives us again four quarts. One, two, three, four. If I have ten of these gallons, and each group of gallon gives us four quarts, I'll have forty quarts of water. Quite a bit. And the last one, I think still the same idea. Francis bought three gallons of grape juice. Three gallons. How many pints is this? Well, every one gallon gives us four quarts. So three gallons gives us 12 quarts. And every one quart gives us gives us two pint, two pints. 
So 12 quarts will give us 12 times as many pints, right? Or 24 pints in this case, or D. So all these problems you can also think about in this way is as a ratio, 3 to 12, right? 3 gallons to 12 quarts. And now we have, well, what if you had 12 quarts, right? How many pints is that? Well, one quart is the same as, as two pints. So we can just scale this ratio up and make an equal fraction. You might have noticed that 1 over 2 does equal 12 over 24. And really all these, these conversions are about. It's about proportions. It's about equivalent fractions. And making sure everything stays the same, even if it is at a higher scale. So that's the basic idea here. I hope it helped.